Come, let us pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for the opportunity you have given us to gather around your word. May you speak to us in these daily sessions and we pray for your Holy Spirit to come and guide us through it all. In your name we pray and everyone across the screen said, Amen. We are doing this live on Facebook, Instagram, Discord, and there's no pre-recording. It's totally live. I see John Lim, I see you, Shane, I see Althea, I see Shuzi as well. So, so amazing to have you all with me. So, this week we'll be going on a new topic, and it is called Real Friendships. And today's topic is called Celebrating Friendships. So, the, to the topic for the week is Real Friendships, and the session for today is called Celebrating Friendships friendships. To most, it is a very simple topic, but actually friends help us in life way more than we can imagine. Until today, let me tell you, I am still good friends with someone uh, with, with someone for 18 years now. 18 years. Not just acquaintance or someone I know, but I mean someone I consider my brother, my close friend. We were in the same class since we were seven years old all the way until we were 17. So standard one, all the way to form five, we were in the same class, 11 years in the same class. And today we are still friends with a group of boys till this day. In Ex Ecclesiastes chapter four, verse nine to 12, it reads, two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help them up, but pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. This passage reminds us that we were created for relationships. We aren't meant to do life alone. When we have a friend by our side, our lives are simply better. Friends are meant to celebrate with us, laugh with us, and even cry with us. So having the right friends in our lives can make all the difference. So for example, let me ask you, have you ever had a rough season where it felt like everything in your life was going wrong and you felt like you were all alone? Have you ever had a friend who experienced the same season like that? Well, there will be times in our lives where we will definitely struggle and it can be tempting to withdraw from others and even your friends and just block them out, isn't that right? Job, this is character in the Bible called Job, was, he was hitting one of those rough patches in his life and he was struggling with some pretty terrible physical disorders as well. But what is great about this passage that I'm going to read to you in Job chapter 2 is the fact that Job's friends were there for him. They didn't try to fix his problem and even or even try to say all the right things, but they just simply sat with him and reminded him that he was not alone. So, in Job chapter 2, verse 11 to 13, if you are there with me, it says, when Job's three friends, okay, it's going to be hard to read this, but Eliphaz the Temanite, Bildad the Shuhite, and Zophar the Naamahite, <laughs> heard all about the troubles that had come upon him. They set out from their homes and met together by agreement to go and sympathize with him and comfort him. When they saw him from a distance, they could hardly recognize him. They began to, began to weep out loud and they tore their robes and sprinkled dust on their heads. Then they sat on the ground with him for seven days and seven nights. No one said a word to him because they saw how great his suffering was. You see, being a friend doesn't mean you need to go all out, you need to buy something to them, you need to come for them, you need to say the right words. No, it's just being there for them. It's kind of remind us once again that even in this season of a pandemic and lockdown that we are in, friendships are important do not neglect the continuous conversations the jokes the laughs the sharing of needs because they are actually helping us grow and live this life as god's children so celebrating friends three things you can do today to celebrate your friends number one oh friendships are important yes number one tell your friend take some time today to tell your friend how thankful you are to them Maybe weird for guys, you know, we're not that emotional, you know. Hey bro, thanks for being my friend. <laughs> but for ladies, I'm sure for girls, you also you are more okay to do this, more emotional. But take some time to tell your friend how thankful you are for them, really. Number two, spend time thanking God for the friends in your life. You can name them each one by one and what they have done to you, but thank God for the friends in your life. And number three, 
Identify to at least one friend who is struggling right now in whatever capacity and reach out to them. Remember, you don't have to, you don't have to do, you don't have to say all the right words. All you're going to do is just be there for them, you know, during this time of need. Give them a phone call. Like I said, I heard someone say this before. A text is great. Uh, a, a phone call is even better. But a FaceTime makes all the difference, right? A text is great. A phone call is even better. But a FaceTime, face-to-face, -face, makes all the difference. So together, everyone, let's celebrate friendships by being a good friend today. Come, let us pray across the screen. Thank you, God, for friends, for placing friends in areas of our lives where you know we need them. Regardless if some of our friends may be irritating or some more annoying than usual, but we, oh God, know that you have placed the right friends in our lives to help us grow and point us closer to you. Help us to also be a good friend to those that need us to be today. In Jesus' name, we pray. And everyone across the screen said, Amen, Amen, Amen. So celebrate friends. Remember, take some time to tell a friend how thankful you are for them. Tell God, spend some time thanking God for a friend. And number three, identify a friend who needs help today. So in all things, don't forget to celebrate friendships. Well, this week we're going on the topic of real friends. And I'm going to talk about friendships and how friends, being a friend and friendships are actually important in our lives. So with that in mind,